Start a podcast for less. Yes, podcasting today, episode 292 of the Marketing for Owners podcast, closing in on the Magic 300. I'm John Butt. You know that, don't you? Because you were here yesterday. Did you know, by the way, after yesterday, because I said about getting the book The Sticking Point by Jay Abraham, and it was pretty much the best book I read all last year, um, if, if you go to marketingforowners.com forward slash free book, you can get that one for free. All you have to do is go and give your opinion and a rating on iTunes for the podcast. How easy is that? Then you just tell us and we will send you genuinely a brand new direct from either Amazon or the book depository book of your choice. You can go to the, uh, well, see it on the page. We've got a whole list of every single book that has ever been recommended with a review and everything. You can pick any one you like. You can look for the most expensive one if you want. It'll take you a while. Or you can, or you can just get The Sticking Point by Jay Abraham. Whatever you like, go see what it is. But anyway, I want to tell you about podcasting today because it's actually quite easy to do this stuff. Believe me, if this was not easy, I wouldn't be doing it. And you can do it from anywhere. For those of you that are uh, watching on, on the website, every single podcast is on the Marketing for Owners website by, as a video. These are recorded on my iPhone 6. Uh, when I started, did I have an iPhone 5? I might have. But anyway, I can record them with anything. I could record it with the, the uh, built-in camera in my laptop. But it doesn't have to be a video. The video is uploaded to YouTube. The video is also uploaded to Facebook. Very, very uh, clear to make that a separate thing. Do not share YouTube videos on Facebook. Facebook is YouTube's enemy competitor, whichever way you look at it, they don't like it. If you, they want stuff uploaded natively onto their site rather than shared from their competitors. Yeah. But I record this as a video. It's put on YouTube. The YouTube video is embedded into a post on the Marketing for Owners slash podcast section of the website. And it is then transcribed. That creates the transcription is edited slightly because when you read back the way you say things it doesn't always look good so it's edited to make it look like I'm slightly competent and I can speak all right and then that becomes a post but it also has all the links or anything else that I might talk about which helps anyone who's driving along and doesn't get time for it uh, or cooking a meal or doing something where you can't actually write things down or you hope to but you then forget them later but now that that is uploaded, uh, the sorry, that the video is then saved as an MP3, which is an audio file. So videos tend to be MP4s or .mov or something like that, but uh, an audio file is an MP3. In a Mac it might be an M4A, is it something like that, but it's still the same thing, but MP3. Uh, so things like on your iTunes, I, you know, iTunes and that plays MP3s. So it's converted into that, dead easy, there's free software you can do, but you can record that using QuickTime or GarageBand or anything, or uh, all sorts of things on your computers that are built in. Windows Movie Maker, I'm sure you can record just audio or export as audio. So uh, that, uh, that, then, that post has an audio feed, which is an RSS reader. It's built into the website. The particular one that we use is Rainmaker. So if you go to marketingforowners.com, go right down to the very bottom of the page, every page, and you'll find a link to Rainmaker. You can go and find everything about it, but it has built-in podcast uploadability. You go off to iTunes. By the way, I'm going to tell you about equipment in a minute, but I'm just going to tell you the process. You go off to iTunes, and you register, you find the page of upload a new podcast, you register, it's totally free, it's dead easy, simple form to fill out, and you give them the feed of where it's coming from. So this is the important thing. I, I create a daily podcast, Monday to Friday, five days a week. 
Uh, the it's a sort of ten minute one of just me on on camera or on audio like this on the Wednesday. It's more like 30, 40 minutes of an interview, an expert interview, where I interview top leading world experts on how they do the marketing for their business so we can all learn from them. But all of it goes in the same feed. Now, you do not actually have to upload a podcast to iTunes every day. It picks it up. In the same way that Google indexes search uh, websites, iTunes, once it knows your feed exists, indexes it and keeps checking every five minutes or every couple of minutes to see if you've got anything new. And every time it picks up a new one, so tomorrow's and the next day and the next day, it will just pick it up and add it to it. Now, when we put these posts up on the website, we time the website post to go live at a to certain time of the day. Now, I believe, I may get this wrong because my uh, Jennifer does it for me, but I think uh, ours go live at something like seven o'clock in the morning in UK time, all right, which would be uh, it's actually 11 o'clock at night, um, the night before in Pacific time, but it's, but it's different time zones all over the world, but it's based in UK time. When that post, which is scheduled to go live, so, so iTunes cannot find it until it is live. When it goes live, they will pick it up, it goes off and it creates a new one for that day on our iTunes feed. Now we are also on Stitcher, the same applies to Stitcher. Stitcher is the popular one for Android, uh, or Stitcher Radio. We're also on SoundCloud. SoundCloud has to be uploaded manually. Bit of a pain. Jennifer does it. You need a SoundCloud Pro account, which is paid uh, uh, if you want to have more than a handful of podcasts. And we're at like nearly 300, so we have the Pro account. But Stitcher and iTunes are totally free. Now, if you wish, if you don't have Rainmaker and you want to host, and your, your WordPress site, you think, well, how do I create a feed? You don't actually have to do anything technical because you just use, have to use a hosting service that has this inbuilt ability and just does it automatically for you. So go to Libsyn. Now just Google Libsyn. If you spell it wrong, it will figure it out. Google's quite clever, but I think it's L-I-B-S-Y-N.com. That is probably the best. Um, now, uh, I think if you want to host a video one, you cannot take YouTube videos direct to iTunes. Um, if you want to do a video one, it works the same. You probably, Libsyn do offer that, but eh, they're not the best. I think podbean.com is the one to use. So look that up. It all works the same. In an ideal world, you can have both. In fact, we really should put these videos up there as a separate one to give people the option. And it's as simple as that. Once it's there, once you've filled in the little, um, Libsyn will tell you everything you need to do. You just fill in the spaces. It's like a list of questions. What's the name of the podcast? What's your name? What's it about? What category? And, and off you go. Then you fill it in. Then you create this podcast. You upload the MP3 to Libsyn every day and iTunes will pick it up. Simple as that. And what about equipment? Well, this is a video one, and I use um, an iPhone. You could use a, a Samsung, an Android. You can use anything with a video camera. You can use your built-in one on your laptop. You could use um, a plug-in one on top of your laptop if you use it for Skype or something like that. Whatever you use for Skype, it'll work the same, okay? Equi other than that, what else? As I have an iTunes, I'm not holding it. It's on a tripod. Now, this particular tripod, as I'm st I like to do them standing up usually, and I'm usually out and about, uh, this says Polaroid. If you go onto Amazon, whichever country, and look up Polaroid tripods, these things are like $30, and this is the huge one. This goes up to virtually almost six foot. So if you're doing um, standing up ones, you don't want to be looking up someone's nose. If you do them out in the open, you want it full height. So look for one, it's about 1.7 or 1.75 meters. But anyway, look up the Polaroid ones. I found those to be the best and the cheapest. Doesn't need to be expensive. Otherwise, just get a little Joby Gorilla Pod. Again, Amazon, just look up Gorilla Pod uh, and you'll find different heights. These things will grip. I have a couple of those, a little short one and a bigger one that I can grip onto posts if I'm out and about, if I don't want to carry a, a tripod around with me. 
and then and the Joby one if you get the right um, sorry if you get the right Gorilla one it will come with a little iPhone holder but again you can buy those on Amazon really really cheaply it's not necessary to go to an Apple shop because they'll probably have something much more expensive as you can imagine and beyond that a microphone a microphone is probably the best thing you can have um, I use a Rode R-O-D-E Smart Lav but if you look up Rode Smart Lav on uh, on Amazon you will then find cheaper alternatives make sure they're compatible with an iPhone if you use an iPhone so uh, when you're looking at the little jack plug on the end it needs three black rings two black rings means it won't work and that's it that's all you need if you're doing a voice one uh, just get an Audio Technica ATR2100 mic, it's a USB plug-in, perfect. Nothing more than that. That's all you need. Uh, you can record it, you can, you can edit it with GarageBand, Audacity is free. If you're doing interviews, Skype with Pamela, it's free. If you're on a Mac, Skype with uh, Ecom's Call Recorder, which is what I use, and that's uh, like $30. Simple as that. Ah, final thing, toolbox tip for Tuesday. Today is userstats.com. It's for e-commerce websites. This, go and look at the website. It's actually got us as a case study on the homepage. Uh, it increased our conversion rate by something like 10%. Userstats.com, my recommendation tool for the week. I'll have more. Oh, by the way, tomorrow, I've got a fantastic interview with Kate Erickson of EO Fire, Entrepreneur on Fire. Be here. I'll see you then.